Okay, so you start with your base image. That's got to be your that's going to be your bottom layer. And then I'm going to put this one in first. So you just like we've done before, select A or commit control A or command A or you can go to the edit menu, copy and then you come to your base layer and paste it. So what you're going to do is to make sure everything lines up, change your opacity. And you can see as I do that, just, just the three, me and the three objects disappear, just fade in and out. So nothing else changes. So that's pretty good. Maybe a little hint of the tree moving in the breeze, but that's okay. Next, I only want this to be visible. So I'm going to get the lasso select tool. And I'm just going to draw around. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I want just me around. I just want this. So I've got me selected. And then I'm going to hit the mask tool and see what happened. Again, that's there. But against the background, you can't even tell. And that's why doing them relic relatively close together in time so lighting doesn't change and the background doesn't change. And then guess what the next step is? Hit this second image. Control A, Control C, back to my base image. Make sure you don't have your mask selected for this next part. And then paste. And then here we go again. If I change the opacity, you can see that it's all good. So again, same thing, lasso tool. All I'm going to do is just draw up around me. Mask. And there we go. Here I am, too. You cannot tell other than that there's a little shadow because I'm there. But that's fine. And guess what the next step is? Yep, I get this image, control A, control C, I base again. Watch what happens. I'm going to show you. If you leave this, your mask highlighted when you do that, you go V. It fills in your mask and it messes everything up. So I want to go Z, Z, I need to get rid of that. Make sure you have the actual image clicked on and then paste. There's my third layer. And again, you can check for alignment. None of the background, you notice the trees, the power line, there's no ghosting. If you accidentally move your camera, if you move even a slightest bit, you'll get ghosting. You don't want that. And then so next, again, lasso tool. Just get around myself. Mask. And there I am. Now it's, it is, I'm done. Almost. Next, I've got it looking the way I want. To make sure everything, your, any adjustments you apply are done in a clear, uh, even fashion, you want to flatten the image. So you go to the layer menu. Actually, first thing I want you to do is go to the save as PSD. I'll call this, call it multiple me in that folder. So I, so if I need to, I can come back to these layers if something went wrong. And then you're going to go to the layer menu, 
flatten image and that merges all those layers down. Now I can go about making an adjustment layer. So I would start with probably brightness and contrast maybe. Open it up a little bit. Take the contrast. I don't want that sky too bright. And that's maybe that's probably too much. And there we go. Now, there I am. Three of me racing myself in the backyard. And again, the quality, because it's a cell phone and it's a front camera, the quality is not good. The quality is not good. Yeah, and I guess my camera just shut off. i got to change the battery. Um, I forgot that to do that before class started. Change back to the other camera. Okay, so there are any are there any questions about this? Again, the photo editing part is the easiest part of this. It's the planning. And setup. Again, when you go to do this, and I didn't bring my cell phone in with me, so I can show you. Make sure you're using a front-facing camera. Make so you can see it, because you need to access your the ability to take your picture without moving your phone. Move your phone a little bit, and the geometry of your room, of your background, will change. And then it will become obvious that you did that. So I need to hear from more people a little bit more detail about what it is you are going to do, what you think you might do. And I'm going to stop recording. <laughs>